identify the famous ancient scholar. He prepared a grammar for Sanskrit. He arranged the vowels and the consonants in a special order and then used these to create formulas like that found in algebra. He used there to write these to write down the rules of language in short formula. So this is Pandini. Pandini grammar is very much in the news. In 2023 news, uh, uh, he was there because uh, uh, whatever he wrote, like the grammar, he wrote it like mathematics, meaning with formula and all, he has written grammar and that somebody has now decoded it. Okay, some Indian person uh, living outside India, I think he has decoded it and that is why Pandini is very much in the news. A question can come. Okay, he was a Sanskrit uh, philologist grammarian and a revered scholar in ancient India variously dated meaning his timeline and even in Wikipedia you cannot find the correct timeline like which king's time he was existing or what is the time okay around 200 years of timeline they have given and people don't know only thing is he is in the BCE timeline meaning he is very like older timeline during uh, Buddha or Ashoka and all you can tell that much older person he is but the proper timeline nobody uh, knows okay so since the discovery and publication of his work by European scholars in the 19th century, Panini has been considered as the first descriptive linguist and even labeled as the father of linguist. Okay. He lived in ancient Gandhara, which is there in Pakistan now. And uh, Panini is mentioned in Indian fables and ancient text. The Panchatantra, for example, mentions that Panini was killed by a lion. Okay, like this, there is a story in Panchatantra tales. Panini was depicted on the 5 rupee Indian postage stamp in 2004. Panini's grammar was influential on such foundational linguists as Ferdinand D. Saussure and Leonard Bloomfield. Okay, they are comparing the, uh, ling uh, the linguists across the world. Panini is known for his first text Ashtadhyayi. This is what you have to know. And a text, first text or his most important text you can tell is Ashtadhyayi, which again deal with Sanskrit grammar. Okay, and many things are there. The syntax, like formula kind of thing. Okay, and Vyakarana branch of the Vedanga, the auxiliary scholarly discipline of the Vedic period. Okay, so that Vedanga also we'll learn below. He, uh, his text attracted numerous Bhashya, that is commentaries of which Patanjali's Mahabhashya is the most famous. Okay, so like I told, when somebody writes something, many others later will try to uh, read it and understand it and give commentaries and give into uh, this thing, what is their perspective to it. Okay, so that interpretation is called Bhashya and the most popular of like the that is Patanjali's Mahabhashya okay which tells about the same uh, this thing only Ashtadhyayi textbook of uh, Panini. His ideas influenced and attracted commentaries from scholars of other Indian religions such as Buddhism. Panini's analysis of noun compounds still forms the basis of modern linguistic theories. So even modern day when you form language right you are still following or influencing something from his uh, grammar okay. Panini's comprehensive and scientific theory of grammar is conventionally taken to mark the start of classic Sanskrit. Panini's theory of morphological analysis was more advanced than any equivalent Western theory before the 20th century. His treatise is generative and descriptive, uses meta language and meta rules, and has been compared to the Turing machine wherein the logical structure of any computing device has been reduced to the essential. Okay, this is like what we have modern devices like the computer model, the mathematical model, and all. This is equivalent in whatever he had written in those BC timeline is kind of equivalent to what now the computer generated models are there. Okay, so this is about Panini and it's very, very important. Okay.